Day 15 of the rescue operation in Uttarakhand Silkiara tunnel with 41 trapped laborers still inside the collapsed tunnel in Uttarkashi. All eyes are on the vertical drilling and the manual drilling which is set to take place. And this after a setback arose when the auger machine malfunctioned pausing the entire operation. Now the auger machine will be cut and brought out using the plasma cutter after which the manual drilling will take place where the workers are brought out of the tunnel where they are trapped right now. Meanwhile, IAF has also delivered key DRDO equipment at the rescue site and amid all the rescue efforts, a protective shield is also being readied inside the tunnel for the safety of the rescue team. While all of this happens on the rescue front, BSNL has also stepped in to reassure and ease the stress for the trapped workers by offering a landline for them to connect with their families. Earlier, of course, the mobile phones were also sent through a six-inch pipe offering a way for the laborers to engage relax inside the tunnel and also find some respite by playing video games on their mobile phones. Abhi, uh, se plasma machine jo Hyderabad se aayi hai, usne kaam karna shuru kar diya hai aur tezi se cutting ho rahi hai. Ab kul 14 meter sees bacha hua hai jo agar machine ko kaat ke nikalna hai. Lagta hai ki jaldi ye kaam ho jayega agle kuch ghanto mein. Uske baad uh, manual kaam shuru hoga dealing ka. Multiple options, as you know, up on the mountain. We're on the top of the mountain with big drilling machines. We've got side access as well for a machine there. We've, I mean, a, another, uh, it's called a, um, a trenchless machine at the side. And we've got the foundations built and we're about to head for the tunnel horizontally with the idea of intercepting the tunnel with another door, but at the side of the tunnel. I know that there's a very thorough investigation going to be made of this. I mean, the whole world is looking and India is looking as well. We're still cutting the auger to, to get the screw out. There's about 16 metres more to, of auger to cut. Um, we're getting about a metre an hour. The beneficial is that it'll cut the steel faster. So at the moment we're using the uh, uh, argon uh, cutter. The plasma machine is a lot hotter, it cuts the steel much faster. I'm going to show you the approach of the road. The road is going to be taken to the truck. पर लेकर जाया जा रहा है ये तस्वीरें देखिए हरिंदर कैमरामैन इसको जूम करेंगे आप देखिए ये बियारो ने अप्रोच रोड तैयार की है और ट्रांसफार्मर एक लेकर ऊपर जाया जा रहा है इस पर दो संभवतः दो ट्रांसफार्मर रखे हैं और इसके आगे जो ट्रक गुजरा है उस पर वर्टिकल ड्रिल मशीन के ब्लेड और रोटेटर रखे हुए हैं यानी क्या हम ये मान ले की ये एक संकेत है कि हो सकता है कि आने वाले समय में अगर एक्सपर्ट्स की रिपोर्ट आ जाती है तो सीधे तौर पर वर्टिकल ड्रिल की शुरुआत हो सकती है संकेत इस बात को लेकर काफी पुख्ता होते जा रहे हैं इस वक्त की सबसे बड़ी खबर ग्राउंड जीरो से हम आपको दिखा रहे हैं तस्वीरें आप देखिए किस तरीके से बी ने जो बारह मीटर की अप्रोच रोड तैयार की है उस अप्रोच रोड पर आपको एक मिनी ट्रक आगे बढ़ता हुआ दिखाई दे रहा है और इस वाहन के जरिए ये तस्वीर आप देखिए किस तरीके से ट्रांसफार्मर को लेकर ऊपर जाया जा रहा है क्योंकि जैसे ही वर्टिकल ड्रिल की शुरुआत होगी जाहिर सी बात है ऊपर ज्यादा पावर की जरूरत होगी लाइट की जरूरत होगी बिजली की जरूरत होगी और उसके लिए संभवतः ये पूरी तैयारी ये इस वक्त की सबसे बड़ी तस्वीर है ब्लेड और रोटेटर वर्टिकल ड्रिल मशीन के एक बार फिर से ऊपर लेकर जाए जा रहे हैं और एक और तस्वीर मैं आपको दिखाता हूं हरिंदर से मैं कहूंगा कि ये सिलकारा टनल और सिलकारा टनल के बगल में एक आपको आर्मी की व्हीकल दिखाई दे रही है इस आर्मी के व्हीकल पर मिनी जेसीबी जैसा आपको एक उपकरण दिखाई दे रहा होगा ये संभवतः जो मैनुअल ड्रिल की शुरुआत होगी ये आर्मी की देख में और इसलिए मुझे लगता है की शायद इस मशीन को लेकर आया लाया गया है यहाँ पर ताकि ये हेल्प करेगी मलबा हटाने में या फिर किसी दूसरे तरीके से आ, मदद कर सकती है तो आर्मी का भी इसमें अब आ, दखल आर्मी की देखरेख में संभवतः ये मैनुअल ड्रिल का पूरा प्रोसेस आगे बढ़े तो इस वक्त की ग्राउंड जीरो से दो सबसे बड़ी तस्वीर हम आपको दिखा रहे हैं दो सबसे बड़ी तस्वीर जिन दो मोर्चो पर तैयारी है इस ऑपरेशन को रेस्क्यू ऑपरेशन Well, the, this is of course the latest update that we are getting for you from Ground Zero. What's happening there right now as we speak, vertical drilling has started and our colleague also showed you visuals there from on the spot where a particular vehicle was being taken, a mini truck on which there was a transformer, which is of course a clear indication that there, there is a vertical drilling that's happening at this point in time. And of course the transformer is needed for power, which will be needed for the vertical drilling that happens. This comes even as uh, there are multiple ways uh, which uh, the rescue operations are being uh, uh, done in and uh, 
there are different ways that are being explored to ensure that these workers are brought out because the auger machine that was used initially, of course, met with some sort of an issue. There was a malfunction following which a plasma cutter was brought in and now the plasma cutter is being used to break it down, the, to break down the stuck auger machine, to bring it out, following which there will be a drilling, manual drilling that will be done. And the visuals that you see outside the tunnel there and this particular vehicle that you also see there, these are the trucks that will be used to carry out the manual drilling, which will happen horizontally. So as we speak, there are multiple ways in which uh, the drilling will be done. There will be horizontal drilling, there will be multi uh, vertical drilling as well. And all of these to ensure that these workers are brought out safely and there is no issue. Now, these are the two visuals that you see there, very important visuals. One is in connection to the horizontal drilling on these trucks that is entering from the front portion. And this particular visual is about the vertical drilling that is happening from top of the mountain. Now, that is the other way that uh, rescue operations will be carried out. Uh, this is, of course, the two-pronged effort that is being carried out to ensure that these workers are brought out. And while all of these happens, we're also seeing how the morale of the workers who are trapped, the laborers who are trapped, is being kept high. This is something that the Prime Minister also stressed upon about ensuring that these laborers are made to feel that their health is prioritized and their safety is being prioritized at this point in time.